All right, so today we're gonna do a video about how to find the focus and directrix of a parabola. So here on the left, we have our typical, let me get my pen, we have our typical function of a parabola. We have y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And then on the right, we have our atypical one, which is x equals a y minus k squared plus h. And so what this is pretty much is x equals y squared instead of y equals x squared. Then now let's just draw a quick graph of each. You probably know what this one looks like in general. We've got a function going up if the x is positive, and then if x is negative, we've got a function going down. So now we can think about this one, x equals y squared. It's gonna follow a similar pattern, except it's gonna be going left and right. So when y is positive, it's gonna be going to the right like this. And then when y is negative, it'll be going to the left like this. So those are what the two functions look like in general, the x equals y squared and y equals x squared. But now today our focus is on the directrix and the focus of these graphs. So let me erase this one right here. Let's say we have a vertex which is at like 0, 3 or something. And then now we have this new thing, a equals 1 over 4p. That's this a value right here and equals 1 over 4p. And what p equals is the distance from vertex to focus and directrix. And so what is a focus and directrix? A directrix is a line that's always going to be under the graph. So in this case, if, well, this is our vertex, our directrix is gonna be a line something like this, right under the graph. And this distance that it's under is what we call P. And then the focus is gonna be a similar point. Uh, it's not a line this time, it's a point, And it's the same distance of P, but it's above the graph, inside the graph. The way I like to think about it is the focus is always, the parabola is always closing in on the focus. So the focus is always going to be inside and the directrix will always be on the outside. So now let me erase one of these. Let's say we were doing one here. We had a focus and directrix. This is our um, x equals negative y squared would be this graph. So we have, let's say our directrix would be here. Remember that it's because it's outside of the graph. That's going to be our directrix. And it's going to be the length of p away. So that means while well, if directrix is here, the focus is going to be over here, the same distance of P away from the um, vertex. So this is just the official formulas. So now let's get into some problems and really see how this works. All right, so here we have a Y equals one half X minus three squared plus two. So immediately let's try to find our vertex. Our vertex, as we know, is H K, and then H is this value and K is that value. So it's going to be, our vertex will be three, two. Be careful with the negative of the H. It's always the opposite of what you see inside the parentheses. So we have a vertex of one, two, three, one, two. And then, okay, well it's Y equals X squared essentially. And it's positive, so we know that it's gonna be opening up. So it'll be something like this, and then like this. So now immediately I would like to think, okay, well my directrix I know is going to be under, so it's gonna be something over here. Then I know my focus is always going to be inside the parabola, so it's gonna be something over here. So now let's try to find our p value. We know, let's look back at our formula. We have um, a equals one over four p. Well, our a value is this one half right here. So we have one half equals one over four p. Now we can multiply by four p, we get, um, 2p equals 1, p equals 1 half. So that's our p value. So we know that 1 half under the um, vertex is going to be our um, directrix. So that we know this is value is 1 half. And then we know 1 half over the vertex is going to be our focus. So now we have to find out the points. And now let's think about it. Okay, so. For our focus, we know that the x value is gonna stay the same because we're still gonna be at three, but we're just gonna go up by a value of one half. So which, what is going to change the x or the y? Well, it's going to be the y. So we'll have three and then two plus one half, which is three and then 2.5. We could write it as five halves, either one works. So now we know our directrix is going to be a line and it's going to be one half under that value of two, our y value of two. So if we're going one half this way, it's gonna be something right here. Well, I, my line's not very good over here, my graph, I'll just erase that. Oh geez, one second. 
So if our line was here, just for or ignore this for now, um, it's going to be 2 minus 1 half, which is just 1.5, and the line is y equals, so y equals 1.5, because we did 2 minus 1 half, and we got that line to be y equals 1.5. I hope that makes sense, and that's one example here, and now we'll go into another example. If you want, you can always pause the video, try to do it yourself, and then see if we get the same thing. So again, now I see that we have, well, our basic form of this one is x equals y squared, because we see we only have a single x, and we have y squared, and it's positive out here, so we know it's going to be opening to the right. I just like to think about that. Okay, x equals y squared. I know it's going to be doing something like this. And then now let's get our vertex, h and k, h comma k. And now remember that this formula is a little different. It's written as, because you know y and k always go together and x and h do. So this also could be written as x minus h equals a times y minus k squared. And then now what they've done is they've added h to both sides and they've gotten x equals a y minus k squared plus h. So now we know, well, h is gonna be that four so our vertex is 4, then our y is going to do the opposite of whatever is in the parentheses, so it's going to be positive 1. So 4, 1 is our vertex here, so let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1. Then as usual, a value is whatever is uh, before the parentheses, so a right there and there, that's going to be our 4, so we know a equals 1 over 4p. So we've got 4 equals 1 over 4p. So then that gives us 16p equals 1. p equals 1 over 16. Yeah, so then let's do... Um, so now we've got our p-value of 1 16th. Now let's think about it. Well, we already decided earlier that this graph was going to be opening to the right because it's x equals positive y squared. So let's do a little sketch here of opening that way. So now we know, our, well, our focus is always going to be inside the graph, so we know it's going to be somewhere over here. And we know our directrix is always going to be on the other side, and it's going to be a line, so it's going to be somewhere over there. That's just a quick sketch. Now let's actually get values. And so if our p is 1 16th, that means that this value over here we're going to add 1 16th to get our focus. We're going to subtract 1 16th to get our directrix line. Now remember that our directrix line, now x is changing and y is st staying the same. So the y is going to remain 1, but then our focus, focus is going to be, and then think about it now, we're going up by that 1 16th to get to our uh, focus x value. So it's going to be 4 plus 1 16th. That is going to be 65 over 16 will be our x value. And then 1 will be the y, if I can write. So 65 over 16, 1. And then our directrix, let's remember it's going to be a line. And this line is going to be x equals and it's going to be 1 16th less than the 4, so that'll be 63 over 16. So that would be our line, that would be our focus, that would be our directrix, and we would have our graph. I hope this is able to help, and please comment and subscribe if you have any questions.